Hey guys, my name is Matt and I'm coming to you on behalf of CLEcontactLenses.com and in today's quick video we're going to be talking about colorblindness. Now when people talk about colorblindness uh, they're actually referring to a color deficiency. Um, a lot of people think that uh, the word blindness refers to an actual blindness where you can't actually see any color but in almost every case that is not the case. So actually um, Seeing in just shades of uh, gray or black and white uh, happens in just less than 1% of all colorblindness cases, which is still a small percent of the overall population. Um, colorblindness is more prevalent in males, and uh, 8% of all males roughly in the United States, you see some sort of colorblindness, and in just 1% of females. So like I said before, uh, colorblindness is more of a color deficiency where the person with color blindness has problems distinguishing colors. There are actually uh, general universals in the colors that they have problems seeing, and the most common are blue and yellow and red and green. So what are the symptoms of color blindness? Um, now obviously if you have some sort of color blindness, you have trouble distinguishing colors, and, and that's no surprise. Um, but when people ask this question, uh, more than not, they're trying to figure out if they actually have some sort of a color deficiency themselves. So um, usually uh, people with a color deficiency or color blindness will know at a young age, uh, usually in school, uh, around peers, um, when someone says something's a certain color and you see it slightly differently, you will start to think, well, what's up, what's wrong? And then to finally be diagnosed, there's actually a test you can take. So I'm going to put a link um, in the box below the video. You can click right on it. Um, you can actually take a test to see if you are colorblind. Now, to be officially diagnosed, you would have to go to a doctor, but um, it's not hard to tell and it's something that's very easy to do. So if you look in the link below the video, you can check that out. So lastly, uh, what actually causes colorblindness? And I think that's a pretty good question. Um, see, colorblindness occurs uh, when light-sensitive cells in the retina fail to respond accordingly to variations in wavelengths of light. Now, that's a very complex statement right there, and if you're not an optometrist, it may be kind of hard to understand. So if you click on the link below the video, uh, another link aside from the test, I'm going to um, have a full article there where you can read more about it. It'll make a little bit more sense, um, but that is the scientific biological answer behind why people have a color deficiency. But on top of that, there are also a few degenerative diseases that can cause some type of a color deficiency, and these include Parkinson's disease, uh, if you have any type of cataract of the eye, or even uh, Kalman syndrome. So um, if you have any more questions about uh, what color blindness is or uh, you know, your general color deficiency, if you want to check, take the test to see if you have a color deficiency, or you have any general comments, uh, please leave it right uh, in the comment section below the video. Aside from that, click on over to our websites and check those out. Otherwise, my name is Matt. I'm from CLEcontactLenses.com, and it's been nice talking to you.